In this week's episode, I talk about my Instagram blog month challenge and a tale of us being frozen over Thanksgiving. I'll explain in a moment. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. During Thanksgiving night, it started to rain here in western Oklahoma, and when I woke up the next Friday morning, I discovered my world had been covered in ice. (laughs) There was not a surface outside that didn't have a layer of ice on it. It made for quite an interesting view out my window. We continued to have sleet and freezing rain for the next few days. The ice grew thicker and thicker. Soon, things started to crack. Normally at this time of year, our trees would have dropped all their leaves, but not this year. Several of our trees still had a green canopy on that Thanksgiving morning. Unfortunately, that just gave the ice something to cling to. One of our largest trees, our pecan tree in our backyard, started to give way Saturday morning. The weight of the ice-covered leaves and branches was just too much. Our morning started with a sickening crack and crash as the limbs began to give way. Trees all over our neighborhood suffered the same fate. At the rate of what seemed like a tree limb an hour, you would hear wood cracking, followed by a loud, icy crash echoing from all over the neighborhood. It was an agonizing sound when it was quiet in the house. Way in the back of your mind, you expect the icy cracking to be followed by a loud thump, of it landing on someone's house or car, or a sharp electric snap as it fell on the power lines, sending us into a cold dark. Every flicker of the lights, all weekend long, caused you to pause, look up, and hold your breath for the lights to come back on. For all the stress of not being able to do anything, (laughs) there was a bit of calm especially when the sun would peek out from behind the clouds, lighting up the landscape. It was beautiful. By Monday, the landscape began to defrost, but with it came a new danger of falling ice. Ice gave way from all the trees, power lines, towers, overpasses, and buildings. For the next two days, it was looking up and staying out from under things. But that soon passed. By Wednesday, most of the ice had melted away and we were able to get a good look at the damage. There are tree limbs laying all over the neighborhood and dangling and swinging from the trees. It's going to take several days to clean up this mess, but soon life will get back to normal. For the month of November, I took on the blog month challenge again, only this time I added a twist to it. The Blog Month Challenge is quite simple. Post something new to your blog every day for an entire month. This time, though, I posted every day to Blog Oklahoma's Instagram. So not only did I have the challenge of writing something new every day, but I added to it by using a picture to go along with it. (laughs) So here's what I learned by using Instagram for the challenge. First, do all your writing in a word processor and not inside the Instagram app. By typing on the small phone keyboard, it just took too long, and autocorrect can really be frustrating. I typed up everything in Google Docs, and when it came time to post, I would open up the Google Docs app on my iPhone, copy the text, and then pasted it into Instagram. It worked out really well for me. When you use hashtags, not only do you improve your discoverability, which is a great thing, but you also get quite a bit of unwanted follow, like, and mention spam. Oh, it was annoying. I think I spent 10 minutes every day just reporting and blocking after every post. I wish I was exaggerating that. (laughs) I found it easier and more reliable to not share at Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, etc. at the same time you post to Instagram. 
If there was a failure with any of those services at the time you post, your post would just outright fail. And also, Facebook from time to time would not go through and require you to log back in. I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> so, post to Instagram first, and then later, click on the share button, and then share to your other services. I know that's two steps, but it was definitely more reliable. And finally, I found the iPhone Instagram app worked better than the Android one. I know they're supposed to be the same, so please don't send me mail. <laughs> but I just had a better user experience on my iPhone than I did on my Nexus 7. The app just worked better in the iPhone. Now, if you're interested in taking on the Blog Month Challenge, please check out blogoklahoma.com slash blogmonth. And also, let us know when you do by using the hashtag blogmonth. I'll have a link to all this information and to Blog Oklahoma's Instagram in the show notes. I'm happy to announce as of December 6, 2015, Blog Oklahoma has 891 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hey! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Be sure to check out our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode at blogoklahoma.net. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.